I start with a visual web GUI form and add the auto magic control to it. The control will be invisible but needs to be present on the form. Next I'll add some controls to the form. I'll add a label, a tab control, and a button. Then I'll run the application. When the I can right click and a customize shows. This was not part of the form and was added by the control. I'll click on this customize option and now you can see the Automagic Runtime Form Designer. One of the great strengths of Visual Web GUI is the great design time experience and with the Automagic Runtime Form Designer you have a similar design experience at runtime that you would have in Visual Studio. Now let's have some fun. I'll change the background color of the form to yellow and I'll change the label I'll make the font a little bigger and bold and I'll change the text to it of it and I'll change the button I'll change the background color of the button to red and I'll make the style of the button flat. And I'll change the text of the button as well. And I'll expand this so we can see all of it. In addition to changing existing controls, Automagic lets you add controls. For example, I may want to add a picture to the form. I can do that. So just like in Visual Studio, I can drag and drop the control onto the form. Now, when I've completed all my changes, I can click the Save option. And automatically, all my customizations will be applied to the form and saved on the server. Now, the next time I go into the form, my customization will show for me. Let me copy the URL and open the browser with it. I'll start a new browser session up and paste in the URL. So you can see my customizations were automatically applied to the form. So there it is, the Automagic Runtime Form Designer for the awesome Visual Web GUI tool. Thanks for watching.